the fun fair is deserted and decades of decline have left more than 30% of shops here boarded up. That's more than double the national average. The people used to roar up the high street. And this camera shop is one of the oldest in town, still trading after 81 years. We, we've had the internet, we've had mail order, uh, we've had the, the superstores trying to sell everything which uh, the small specialty shop have done uh, over the years. And of course, there are the high street was the, the buzz of the shopping and now of course it's got competition throughout. There have been huge efforts to regenerate Margate. The Turner Contemporary Gallery opened two years ago pulling in hundreds of thousands of visitors. The government's given the go-ahead to turn this site on the seafront into a huge supermarket. There'll be 82,000 square feet of shopping space which independent retailers on the high street say will be disastrous for business. That's why campaigners have taken their fight to the High Court. The proposed store is going to be devastating for Margate. The existing small businesses, which are the lifeblood of our town and the country, are also going to be put under further strain that actually in this recession is not actually sustainable. National figures out today show a slight rise in the number of new shops opening but the challenges facing Margate are the same for many high streets right across the UK. Rebecca Barry, 5 News, Margate.